Hi third graders. Um, today we're going to do some buffalo hide drawings. Um, so I'm doing a Native American lesson with each class this week and um, I'm going to do a little bit of buffalo hide drawing with you. <coughs> First of all let's learn a little bit about that and uh, I'll share my screen and we'll go through a little bit of how to do that. So I'll just present my screen to you. Okay, so um, a buffalo hide painting. Um, um, I just clicked on, here's um, the website, and I clicked on a little website here, more about buffalo hide painting. And um, <coughs> Indians in the Northern Plains wore buffalo hides for practi practical and ceremonial purposes. <coughs> so in the wintertime, they would have fur on the inside for warmth. And... Um, when they were sick, they would wear it, uh, the hide with painted symbols to hasten healing. Okay, so um, these are different buffalo hides right here being worn. <coughs> and here's one right here. I'm gonna go back to my original tab here on my website. And just to see that I have a pictograph here. So the pictograph is some different symbols that Native Americans would use on the buffalo hide themselves. And then here are some pictures of the buffalo hide. So right here we have a few pictures of a buffalo hide. Um, here's a picture of one. They usually paint animals. Sometimes there'd be a story on it. Sometimes there would be something about a hunting trip or even a calendar they found on some uh, different places that they went in the years and the winters. <clears throat> so here's another example of a buffalo hide. I want you to notice this edge around the outside. There's an edge there around the um, where the hide kind of comes off and uh, it's kind of an interesting edge. You know they didn't have any paper back there or anything. And so here's a really uh, interesting fact about buffalo hides. They were staked out to dry in the sun so they put stakes in them. And then it's kind of gross, but I guess uh, it's an intriguing, interesting fact. Uh, once the hide was scraped off, they were tanned with a mixture of brains, fats, and liver from the buffalo. Yeah, kind of interesting. Um, so that they left out in the sun, they would dry like that. And they kind of looked like this tan color, like a piece of paper. <coughs> um, and you could paint on them with different paints that they would use. So there's some information about the buffalo hides right there. And um, we're going to be using this pictograph today. So um, if you go to my bright space and you go in, you can use that pictograph from my website link that I put in there to uh, do your drawing. Okay, so we're going to do a little drawing today. We're going to use that pictograph to work on our art project and do a little bit of drawing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make the edges of the buffalo hide. So I'm just going to kind of go like this and do those edges. Make those edges of the hide up there. And <coughs> stop presenting there so you can see it. Okay, that's better. So here we go. I think you'll probably see that a little bit better now. Um, I'm just kind of making these edges of the hide right here. So I'm going to be using that pictograph picture that you saw on my website. But just kind of make it like it wasn't a perfect uh, square right there. That's where they have the skin of the hide was kind of caught around there. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little story um, with the symbols. So I'm going to take these symbols that I look on my pictograph design. And I'm just going to make a little story out of pictures here. So maybe this is the symbol for a teepee. And then there's going to be an Indian camp over here. So here are some of the symbols from the Indian camp and then maybe we'll have a campfire so there was a campfire an Indian 
camp. And what's really kind of fun is you can make a little story about this. So maybe you say, oh, I see the symbol for a river. And you can say there was a river going through the camp. And maybe there was a turtle that came out of the river. So here's the symbol for a turtle right here. So I think it'd be really fun just to take your, um, take the pictograms, make a little story out of it. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but can have a story right into your pictograph design. So I'm going to go ahead and make a uh, moon right there. And um, I'm going to give a little bit of, uh, maybe I'll put a, I'll put a fish. Maybe there's a fish coming out of the river right there. <clears throat> so feel free to add to it. Maybe even put the ground down here, you know, with that. Here's the ground and here's the moon. And maybe on the other side we have the sun. Okay, and once you have all the pictographs, I'd feel free to color it with some crayons. Use some colored pencils if you wanted to maybe a set of markers, and give that color and color in your buffalo hide drawing. So have a lot of fun with that. Um, you know, you could make it different. You could put other symbols in there. I think it'd be really interesting to do different and other things for that. So thanks for drawing with me today. Um, I appreciate it. And have a great week, and I'll see you next week for another virtual lesson.